Hi everybody, for today's cooking vlog, I'm going to show you how to make my version of tomato bruschetta with mozzarella and ricotta cheese. Bruschetta is a classic Italian appetizer with few very simple ingredients. It's a grilled bread with a hint of garlic and you can top it with tomato, basil, cheese, and olive oil. You guys, I love this appetizer. It's crunchy, it's juicy, and every bite is packed with so much flavor. Let's get started! Good morning, I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen. Here are the ingredients. Two cups of cherry or grape tomatoes, 10 pieces of sun-dried tomatoes, thinly sliced, two cloves of garlic, three pieces of fresh chili, one teaspoon of dried oregano, 150 grams of mozzarella, 250 grams of ricotta cheese, a baguette, a handful of fresh basil leaves, some olive oil, salt and pepper. First, let's make the mozzarella and ricotta paste. Combine the ricotta cheese and mozzarella, add a pinch of salt, crush them together using a fork. Mix well, taste to adjust, and it's done. Set aside. To make the tomato toppings, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Place the tomatoes in the baking sheet. I recommend using only good quality grape or cherry tomatoes for this recipe. The brighter, the juicier your tomatoes, the better your bruschetta will be. Crush one clove of garlic onto the tomatoes. Then add the chopped chilies. Season the tomatoes with salt and pepper. Drizzle it with some olive oil. Then sprinkle a teaspoon of dried oregano. Mix them all together using your hands. Put them in a preheated oven and bake for 3 to 5 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. When done, dust them gently and then let them cool down for a bit. It's time to prep the bread. Use a sharp serrated knife to cut the baguette into half an inch pieces. I recommend a bias cut so that your slices are slightly longer and elongated. Using a grill pan over high heat, toast the bread on both sides. Toasting will keep the moisture out and will keep the bread from getting soggy. Plus, extra toast slices to bread brings more crunch and structure to this dish. While the toasted bread is nice and warm, take the garlic and rub it in each bread slices. If you're not a big fan of garlic, leave it. But based from my personal experience, I find that rubbing the grilled bread with garlic makes this food much more flavorful. Drizzle some olive oil on the bread. Add the slices of sun-dried tomato. You can also use a good quality sun-dried tomato paste as an alternative. Add a generous amount of mozzarella and ricotta paste on top of the sun-dried tomato. Add the basil leaves on top. The basil that I'm using today is freshly picked from my own garden. If you haven't seen my vlog on apartment gardening yet, click the link in the description box to learn a few tips and tricks on how to grow your edible garden in pots. Add the tomato toppings, bit of olive oil, and we're ready to serve. For best taste, I recommend using a baguette for this recipe. If you're looking for a classic baguette recipe, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to make homemade baguette for my next episode. So if you haven't yet, subscribe now so you won't miss my video updates. If baguette is not available, then sourdough bread is a perfect alternative. This appetizer is an absolute crowd pleaser. I hope you'll try it and let me know how it turns out. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! Thank you guys for watching! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more delicious recipes, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. As always, I would love to hear any feedback from you guys. Thank you for your support and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!